Now, students, I am going to go through the e-submission to the e-portfolio section in Brightspace with you. And I have posted up a couple of items on your Yammer here, particularly this one here. So um, this is, if I expand this out, this is your full brief uh, for the e-submission. Okay, and what you need to take cognizance of are these things here, these acronyms for the various different uh, modules that you're involved in, and the file naming convention, obviously. Now, you should be well used to this at this stage. Uh, there's been slight variations on this over the years, but this is the one we've settled on here now, okay? Um, and if I pop back up here, I want to bring your attention to uh, this bit here, so. Okay, so this is how we're going to organize some folder structures within the ePortfolio, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so if I uh, pop into the ePortfolio, here we are, and I'm just going to go to my home here. Now, the thing to remember uh, about your ePortfolio is that um, it here it is here, and it sits above all of your modules, all right? So you'll have four, five, six modules that you are um, involved in, Obviously, I've got a lot more here, but the important thing is that here sits your e-portfolio and it's on top of all, all the things that are happening here. So let's click into it and take a look. So this is your opening page of the e-portfolio and a couple of things that I want you to look out for here. Um, so we've got e-portfolio my items and explore tab we'll be dealing with uh, the e-portfolio and my items uh, mainly we don't need to go explore to explore just yet um, the add files box here is a method of getting your um, files into your e-portfolio i'm going to explain about that now as well we can do a bulk upload or a single upload uh, on that come across uh, to here we've got new presentation new collection well look for this year we're not going to get involved in new presentation but we are going to have some collections here so organize ideas discoveries and accomplishments this will make sense to you when i uh, explain it um, popping from my e-portfolio into my my items tab here now the my items tab okay no items found so what you need to think of the my items as being is this is the storage area this is where all of your files will uh, be uh, uploaded to and they'll all end up in here and uh, brightspace refers to all files uh, all types of files as artifacts so just uh, get used to that type of language. So your PDF is an artifact, your whatever else uh, you might upload uh, is an artifact. In, in, in our case, it's going to be 99% uh, PDFs, if not 100% PDFs. All right, so think about this as being um, the storage area. Now, uh, if you remember, you've already submitted digitally uh, to TDS and to, to BIM and you know uh, PDFs for those projects. So that's brilliant. The only thing we need to check on and to make sure that you've got everything done right is the file naming convention, okay? So if this was a set of uh, sheets that you were submitting into uh, TDS, say for Noel for uh, second semester, and you've already submitted these to Noel for a project or whatever else, uh, all we need to do is check and make sure that we've got the file naming convention correct, all right? And at any point you can go in, double click into any of these and you can change any, uh, Thing that needs to be changed but that's what we want you to do is to assemble um, all of your previous uh, submissions that have gone into BIM into TDS into BPBT whatever it might be they are going to be uh, submitted a second a second time into your e-portfolio all right uh, now a little bit laborious but in the sense that you've already done all of this you should have everything prepared um, you know it's not going to be that bad by any means at all one of the things that we will ask you to do is uh, organize and uh, merge your um, your sheets so you can see that I might have uh, six or eight uh, PDFs for one particular project might have be more than that and what we're asking you to do is to merge those and I'm going to show you how to do that now in the next video